In February, you did an early review of Rice Dice, a Spirit of the Rice Patty dice game. Dice Tower Judgment? Boring! Rice Dice? Boring? Tom, you're wrong. <laughs> Sometimes hype can be baked right into a game, whether it's the title or the box art. The weight of our expectations can be increased by a game designer or a publisher. In this case, you said that Rice Dice was a pale shadow of its original game. You said that it was failing at trying to be a more complex Euro game. Really? Well, let's take a look. Your first criticism was leveled at the box. What, you're not a fan of Kleenex box style boxes? Tom, what you fail to appreciate is the ergonomic design of this little gem. Typical boxes are flimsy, tend to dent, and catch air. Um, their poor aerodynamics make it nearly impossible to hit minions around the office space. The rice dice advantage shines through on the first throw. That'll teach them. The cute little bugger. You like rolling dice, and yet you claim that the symbols on these dice are all the same. Tom, science has proven that cube shapes like these dice actually have three, four, six? Is it six? Is it six? It's six. Six sides. Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. That, that's, that's six. Science! You say, maybe you want workers, maybe you want water. You roll the dice, you don't get it, meh, no real tension. Hey, there's one of my minions now, rolling for water. Let's take a look, shall we? Well, seems pretty tense to me. You know, I like to pride myself on a really relaxed atmosphere here at work. Playing rice dice just creates a heck of a lot of tension. Your strategy in rice dice apparently is not to release water on your turn. <laughs> Minion, show him my superior strategy. It's, uh, Eric's superior strategy, <sighs> releasing water on, on his turn, on Eric's turn. Um, it allows you to collect a limited water resources from other weaker uh, weaker 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 players and you fill your hugely 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 profitable ah players. get out of here seems that there's more there than a game of chicken and if it came down to that well chicken can be pretty intense You say there's not enough variety in rice dice. You seem to be taking the same actions over and over again. Well, let's take a look at those actions. Uh, fill patties with water, plant rice, drain patties, harvest rice or weeds, gain new patties. The actions of rice dice seem to be thematic and streamlined. They're easy to teach, easy to learn. Now let's look at some other popular games. Uh, here's a couple more dice rolling games. We have uh, Space Base. We claim rewards, trigger actions, buy a card. We refill the shipyard. Hmm. Uh, Castles of Burgundy. Uh, take a tile, place a tile, sell goods, take workers. Hmm. King of Tokyo, gain points, gain energy, smash, heal, move monster, buy card. Hmm. They all seem... Boring. I haven't played the original game. I was just looking for a light filler, a game I could play at the pub. You know, something comparable to Age of War, Trash Panda, or one of the many roll and write games. You know, something not so complex that uh, you can't have a casual conversation and not such stupid, silly game that, uh, you know, wants to be the life of the party. This game, Rice Dice, seems to fit the bill perfectly. For me, for my employees, and for the people that I pay to be my friends. Maybe the difference between me and you, Tom, is our expectations. I was expecting a light filler game, and you were expecting to capture the spirit of the rice patty in a dice game. You can't always get what you want, but that's just my opinion. The Game Link's Judgment approved for light fun.